welcome back so let's add more let's add some pronouns here so there's no need to say you liked that because we are not going to be showing notifications of things that the current user actually did because it doesn't make sense to say you liked mary's post because you already know this so it should be mary that should see these uh notifications so let's change this a little bit so i'm going to go to notifications.php and change the query let me come up here first i will need this session id so let me come down here So I will say ID is equal to add slashes. Oh, wait a second. If I go to my book classes functions. There's an escape function here, so we can use that instead. So instead of add slashes, let's use escape. Based. Okay, so that's our ID now. So this is the ID of the current user. So we're going to say selector from notifications where the content owner. So we only want to know notifications where we own that content content owner is equal to ID let me remove the word wrap so select all from notifications where content owner is equal to ID limit 30 so this should return zero here that is good so this is a good time to put an else statement here so end if do that just put else here full colon of course and then let's write something here we're just going to say um, no notifications were found okay so no notifications were found good so let's go to the other users profile so let's log out so we can see some actual i'll say mary peary is that the one i hope yahoo.com and the password there we go so click to go to notifications and there we go so here we have our notifications that one liked mary's post so instead of saying mary's post because this is mary that's logged in we can say your posts so we will leave this because there are certain times when some other person liked some other person's post so this will this kind of phrasing will come in handy that that post might not be yours but because you commented on that post so you could see a notification like this but let's put some pronouns where you are actually the owner of the post. So let's come to not single notification.php and let's do some pronoun magic here. So that's going to be very simple because we know this is the owner. So the options we have here are to use the actual name or let me actually when we use the actual name this part goes there so let's put a dot to concatenate okay but then we will have your should be part of the sentence here i think so sometimes we will use this either the name or your so Let's put an if statement here. We're going to say if. So what we're checking for here is if your user ID. 
So if owner user ID is equal to, let's come back to notifications here. Where is that ID actually? So remember that we created this ID there. Ah, I might just, just for the sake of it, I will bring it here and put it there just for portability. So I'm going to get that ID. That's the current user and put it there. So if owner user ID, the owner of the content is equal to the ID, which means this is the rightful owner. We're going to do that. Let's put an else statement. And let's move this guy there. But I actually did the opposite. So let me just negate this by putting an exclamation mark there. So if it's not the owner, do that else do this. So let's see how that changes things. Okay, so Ethan liked your post. That's much better. So if I click on this now, it's supposed to take me to the actual post that is being talked about. Now, luckily, we have the content ID. Now, if we go to the timeline to see how we go to act an actual post, this is the link right there. So I'm going to right click and copy link location. And then I'm going to come here because this is what we need to put there. Hmm. So this is a little bit of a conundrum here. So what we will do is I will close the PHP tags here and open them again because I've just realized that I need to move this evaluation to the top. There. Problem solved. Let me remove that. Alrighty then. So because I need the link of the owner here. Actually, no, I didn't need that. No, I actually didn't. Okay, that's fine. So what we need to check for is the content type. Now the type of content will determine the type of link that we have. So let me go up the top here and create our link. So start with saying link is equal to empty. And then let's generate one using some if statements. So I'm going to say if, this time we're looking for the notification row. Okay, if notification, content type Ooh. we could have used this select statement here it usually works better but this will do just fine so if the content type is equal to post like so we'll do something else We'll do another if statement, copy, boom. So it could be a post or it could be a profile. You can like a post, you can like a profile, or you can like a uh, comment, like so. So let's start with post because that's what we have. So if it's post, the link will be here. So the link will be single post. Now I've forgotten the link here again. So let's copy that link location, copy link location and paste it here for reference. Aha, uh -huh. so it's single post. This is what we're supposed to do. So let me paste that in here. Delete. Only difference is we have to supply the dynamic ID. So equals to, let's concatenate the content ID. 
like so. And then we're going to get this link and put it here. So PHP echo boom close those tags. So back to notifications, refresh, and we can see now there's actually oh yeah, there are links. If I click, this is the post right there. That's the one I liked. Click, that's the same post. Now let me go back here. Is the content ID the same? Mm, it is. So let's go back and like something else. So for example, let me like uh Oh, wait. Who owns this post? So what happens if I like my own post? Hmm. Let's check. Mary Piri liked your post. So of course I'm Mary Piri in, his, in this case. So let's still see what happens. So it's, it's good at uh, predicting the post this is the post that the person liked, so great. Uh, this one will lead to this post, great. Okay, so it should also know that uh, when I am the owner, I liked my own post, it shouldn't actually show me that notification. It's just that now we can see that the notification is there. So if I liked my own post, yeah, but for fun, you could do that. You liked your post. That could be something you might want to keep in the user's log. In order to do that, you would have to to change this just the way we've done here. Uh, let me let me just do that quickly. Let me do this. Copy and put it at the top here. Close that tag like so and then put the else statement now since this is at the beginning we're just going to put a capital y like so now we're not looking at the owner user id we're looking at uh, where is this uh, user id oh, oh oh yeah it is correct so it's actor i should change here put that one there right so let's see now you liked your post okay so that makes sense now we might we must not see what we liked ourselves so oh i'll leave it for now just so we can close it at the end just so you can see how we can how uh this works out without causing any errors so we'll fix this in the end where we will hide when you do your own when you like your own post it shouldn't show so what i want us to do now just uh to see what happens when somebody uh, likes a profile instead. So we're going to do that in the next video.